Hey YouTube, it's JP Dillon. Just going to do a hopefully a little short show and tell video today. This is a 1980s General Electric Model 7-2660 AM FM two-way power portable radio. Uh, I saw this at an estate sale last week and I just couldn't resist. It had the original box and everything. It was a fairly affordable item so I said hey it's another cool electronic thing that I don't need and it's kind of neat looking so we're just gonna unbox it and uh, see if it works see what other things it comes with it looks like it's fairly fairly new I mean it's still wrapped it's still got its paperwork with it um, reason why I say 80s is because it's that we bring good things to life and it's still General Electric Company of Syracuse, New York. I don't know, I think that went away sometime in the mid 90s. Um, I don't know if this is before or after the Thompson takeover, really. But let's pull it out of here. Pretty cool. There's its uh, paperwork. That's pretty minty. I'm wondering if it was even used. I mean, the styrofoam and everything is still in here, or it was used so very little. It's in nice shape. Tuning works. There's your date code. And then get in here a little bit on it. The quality check. Not sure how to read these date codes yet, so uh, let's see here. So the power cord is supposed to be in there. Looks like it is. Definitely be trying it off of AC power first. And it looks like it runs on four AA batteries. No sign of uh use in that battery compartment at all. That battery compartment looks way too clean. Yeah, I don't think this was used. I really don't. Got its little whip antenna here. Let me pull this out. Very cool. So you have your care and use guide. Separate this here. Power supply, battery operation, antennas, servicing, different language, printed in Malaysia, along where the radio was made. Here's your uh, warranty product registration. I find it funny, the fine print here says, uh, Please do not send any products or correspondence to this address. It's or correspondence. Come on, focus, you piece of crap. Let's, uh, there we go. Stupid software. Anyways. It says, uh, please do not send any products or correspondence to this address. Yet, obviously, this is some form of correspondence. And the warranty card has yet to be filled out. It's still uh, still blank. And then let's see here. What's this? Important safety instructions. Yeah, let's see what this is. Accessory list. There we go. Accessory order form. So you've got your FM antenna, your pillow speaker, your remote speaker, rechargeable batteries and chargers, headphone adapter, stereo headphone, blah, 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 power converter. Now I'm not sure why you would buy an AC converter since this one already has one built in, but this is probably just a generic list. 
tells you the pricing and everything. Order form. National Parts Distribution Center, Visa or MasterCard. So that's all with it. And then if we flip that over, there's your folding instructions. Just like that. Alright. Anyways, let's see if this thing works. Pretty cool. Let's uh, take our little power cord out. Definitely been in there a while. Smells like uh, fresh poly something. This probably just turns on with the, uh, yeah, the volume. The fact that it's already turned on suggests that maybe somebody had this out of the box before I did. Let's see if it works. It's AM. The nation's opioid addiction and overdose crime. Sounds like KFI. But the state's keeping an eye on us. And if there's 600, there's 640, 540, 600, 640. The motor boating you hear is likely from the camera, actually. Yeah, the closer I move it to the camera, the more noise you get. Pretty sensitive. It's picking up all the low power stuff really easy. Pretty good selectivity too, considering they're forcing AFC. So there's our low power 89.9, which is just a repeater for KCRW, right next to 89.5, which is literally about 15 miles from me. Switches between them really well. No bleed through. There's Radio Guadalupe. Very cool. This thing is, even the pots and switches aren't dirty yet. I mean, it works like new. And it's got the IC integrated circuit thing on there, so I'm thinking definitely 1980s. Could be older. Don't know. Uh, again, I don't know how to read the date codes. But just thought this was really cool. Wanted to share it with you guys. Obviously, doesn't need any repairs. It's uh, working great. So this is just kind of a little filler video until we get to the next thing. Um, I think on the chopping block next is going to be a, 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 a rust bucket zenith. And long story short, I didn't film any fixing of the cabinet. It was a metal 23-inch metal cabinet zenith that was really rusty. And I tried to repaint it to look like the uh, royal red that it was previously. But we'll get into that one. Uh, remember the Sony cassette deck. Um, I did find somebody in uh, Slovakia that says he's going to make me some pinch rollers for it. So those probably won't get here until before December. But when we do, we'll get back into that one. Uh, there are some Japanese color sets that I want to get to, uh, an old NGA, uh, a Toshiba, 
uh, older Sony Trinity Trash, so we'll do those too as time permits. Upcoming weeks I'm going to be a little bit busy, so you won't see something so frequently as you have been. But uh, anyway, enough ranting. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll uh, upload most stuff as I have time.